Welcome to this short video as part of the Identity Manager Basics. In this video, I will uninstall an Identity Manager installation. Uninstall is something we typically don't show in any training because from our perspective, it is not that important. If you pay a lot of money to get your Identity Manager, the last thing you typically want is to uninstall the tool. But from a demo perspective, it could be of interest just to get rid of the complete Identity Manager installation in your environment. In this video, I want to show you how to get rid of all the web fronts, services, and at least the database and the client tools we have installed in several other videos before. How that works? Pretty easy. To deinstall the Identity Manager, I just start at the IMS03, which is our server. On the server, there's a server service installed, which is my first part of the software I want to deinstall. Therefore, I start the application wizard. And in the application wizard, I will find one Identity Manager, and one Identity Manager is exactly what I want to install. To do so, I run the deinstallation, I check the box, remove the complete configuration, and Having that checked, everything gets deinstalled. If this is done, I am good because nothing other else of the identity manager was installed on that specific uh, server. Beside web fronts, that is something I will show you uh, in a second. But uh, to check that everything is deinstalled, I can use a standard explorer. I can just look into the Z drive, program files, and there in uh, one identity, of course, and there should be, uh, or yeah, there could be in one identity manager directory, but typically that is already disappeared. So with that, the software was deinstalled from the machine to be really sure two more places to have a look at. First, I can look into the app data directory. In the app data directory exists the temp. It's easy to find that with percent ten percent. Stepping one step back, I can find the identity manager directory. Looking into that, you will see it is already empty. There was another one from one identity. There is something in there, but that is not the identity manager. That might be another tool. So that means identity manager is deinstalled. One last thing left, and that is the registry. The identity manager writes uh, some screen configuration of client tools sometimes into the registry. I can as well look into that. It is then underneath of Hive concurrent user and uh, here then uh, software. And if I look into that specific key, I can see there are as well no keys installed. That means we don't have registry entries as well. With that, the server service is deinstalled, and to deinstall the complete environment, I have exactly to do the same on the server IMS02 where my other service was installed. This is something I will not show you here because that is only the same what you saw before. What I want to show you here is how to deinstall web portals. This is as well something I can do with the identity manager, and I can start for that the Identity Manager installer. Therefore, I just jump to my setup DVD. It is exactly the same way then for installing web portals. And on the setup DVD, I can start the auto run exe. And with the auto run exe already open, I can step to installation and I can uh, start the web based component installer right here. And there is uninstall a web application. And with that, I can just jump into all my web applications. You see a lot of them. I can just select one. For example, I take the manager web, click next and can now sign in. And have removed just one of my web portals. This is one way to do it. I can't select many web portals at the same time. I have to do it step by step, which is sometimes a pain. And that is the reason why I want to show you another way to deinstall all of these portals just at once. Therefore, I open the Internet Information Server admin tool. In the admin tool, I just expand the site and get then on the default side all of these applications seen. With right click, I can just remove these applications. And after removing all the applications, I should as well just remove the application pools according to these applications. 
Then typically the reset of this specific service is very helpful. And then I can directly turn off that information server and can jump to the file directory where all of these web application was installed. That is on the C drive in INET pub and there in www root. And there are then the directories with all of these web fronts. I can just select them and delete them. And as you can easily see, after a short time, the deinstallation will be complete. All of the web applications are now completely deinstalled and removed from the server and server registration. And with that, all related to the identity manager was deinstalled on that application server IMS03. I will now fastly deinstall the server servers on IMS02. You will not see that in that specific video. And we will see us again on the workstation to remove the workstation components and of course the database. After having deinstalled all the services, I will now deinstall the web, uh, the workstation components. And to do so, I'm on the workstation, as you can see. Uh, it is exactly similar what I did uh, with the server services. That means I start the application wizard. I'm searching for one identity manager. There it is. Click the uninstall change button. Click the checkbox to remove all components and just deinstall everything. And here, as you can see, I am successful. No identity manager available. And the very last bit, which is to deinstall, that is now the database. This is a little bit more complicated. Therefore, I need a little bit more scripts. Reason for is that I have to ensure that everything gets deinstalled. So, for example, if I check the database access, I have to check the database access, of course, to the right database. It is the identity manager database. Then you will see there are many users connected to the database. And these users are at the end a lot of jobs which are sitting here uh, and gets executed from the SQL Server agent. This is my DBQ processor, which has a lot of slots and all of them are somehow connected to the database. To get rid of that, I have to get rid of all of these agent jobs. And to do so, I can use a predefined command here. That predefined command is something you can find in the internet. I won't shortly show you how that exists. It is part of the standard documentation. So if I just do a Google search for one of these words, then you can easily find um, articles or parts of the manual where these commands are described. Uh, it is available in the internet, it is as well available in the uh, documentation directly installed. In this case, it is a knowledge article and you can find, for example, these commands. However, if you know these commands, then you can directly uh, execute them. And if you do so and the system returns like there, you can do a refresh just here and you will see all of these jobs are gone. Not one of them exists anymore. All of these identity manager jobs are gone. With that, you can exactly look into the database again and figure out if there are some users left. And what you will see there is two users left. One of them, of course, is a system user. The other one, of course, is the connection I have to the database right now. To get rid of all of them and to ensure that this happens, I use exactly the same statement with uh, inserting a kill command in front. Here it is. I copy all of these things here and I add these commands just to my script. Here we are. Now pretty important is just to select another database. Did not matter which one. I have only to select another database. I just select my both kill commands, execute them. I get an error message because one of them is a system uh, uh, service. I can't stop. But with the rest, I was getting everything I need. I open now my databases. I see my identity manager database. Right click on the database, just delete. And with delete, I can now delete the identity manager database. And the identity manager database is gone. And with that, I have completely deinstalled the whole identity manager, all web apps, all services, and the database, and of course, all the client tools. 
my demo environment is clean and I can record my next video.